Hi guys, this is Josh with Pomeroy Creative, and uh, this is a series in designing with Google. This is uh, part two, and then I just kind of wanted to backtrack a little bit the beginning of this video and uh, show you how do you get to Google Apps. I uh, just wanted to make sure you know where those are uh, located, where you can find them. If you have a, uh, a Gmail account, which you should, if you don't, it's really easy to get one. Uh, you, uh, you've got this little uh, sort of grid icon here, and that's your apps. And right here you've got Drive. And you can just click Drive and get to all of those apps. I'll show you what that does. Opens up a new window in your browser. And this opens up the new Drive interface. If you're not using the new one, it should prompt you to try it out. Uh, I think it's much better than the, the old interface. And how do you get to different apps? Well, if you just click New, it'll give you a drop-down. And you see these first three here is Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides. Now, if you've never used these before, Google Docs is like your word processor. This is like your digital typewriter. We'll have more videos on that coming up. Google Sheets is like your spreadsheets. It's like Microsoft uh, Excel. Uh, this is uh, for all your forms and um, you know your, your uh, charts and you can input fields, you know, and create spreadsheets. And Google Slides is um, is your PowerPoint. Google Slides is an incredible, um, like multi-slide, multi-page presentation application. And under More, you've got Google Forms, which is fairly new. Um, we'll be uh, exploring that some more. And Google Drawings. Now, Google Drawings we've used quite a bit already. If you saw the, the vlog from uh, Tuesday, you saw that we used this for one of our latest uh, client projects. So we actually use this for a, a professional, um, in a professional nature for, for a client. And uh, the results were, were, were great. We were very, very happy with it. So we wanted to show you uh, just some of the things that, that we have learned on, on our little exploration here. The whole purpose of these, of these videos in this series is to, um, to kind of showcase what you can do with a little bit of ingenuity, a little bit of creativity and thinking outside the box. You don't need super high dollar expensive software or a subscription uh, to create things that are really well designed and beautiful for your business. So um, you see here, this is this is my um, this is really behind the scenes here. This is my uh, Google Docs um, uh, file management here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into graphics. I've create I create folders. And I, I really recommend you know creating folders and really leveraging the uh, the the real power of the organization that the that Google has. And this is all in the cloud, so these files are accessible on any device. If you uh, download Drive, you can get it for iOS or Android, and any computer. Just log into your Google account, and you will have access to these. So another cool thing that we like about Google is the collaborative features that are just built in, because this is all uh, in the cloud. This is all you know in a web browser. You don't need to install anything. You don't need to, uh, like I said, purchase expensive software to do what we're going to show you in this series. All right, we're going to go into our, one of our clients called the Birdcage, and I'm going to show you this, uh, this uh, rip card that we designed. This is the sales rip card flyer right here, and it's going to open up in uh, Google Drawings. Now, Google Drawings is a lot like Publisher, or um, I wouldn't say InDesign. InDesign is sort of it's a huge beast of its own, but as far as the the ability to grab objects and, and work in an object-based environment, it's much more like that than, say, Microsoft Word or Google Docs. So if you're going to create something like a flyer, I recommend uh, either using slides, and I'll tell you why a little bit later, or drawings. Uh, and we've used Google Drawings to create this. So I just wanted to show you each, each of these things here, this is all grouped together, and I can hit Command, or if you're on a PC, Control, Shift, and G, and that will ungroup things. You can also find that in the Arrange menu. So you have 
total freedom of where you put objects. As you see, I can just grab pieces and move them around. And Google's done a great job with these, these smart guides. You see these alignment guides here, these little blue guides, and then I have this red guide going down the center, letting me know that that's in the center of my document and lined up with all my other pieces. I get blue guides to show me um, positioning in relationship to other objects, so for like distributing uh, space between objects. Um, so like I was saying, you can you can move these things around. You have text boxes. I can move these even off the canvas, which I, I really love working with. Um, and this is vector vector based uh, design. You can import bitmaps and photos and all, all sorts of stuff. But if you use any of the shapes, which it comes with tons of primitive shapes that you can use and and manipulate, uh, those are going to be a vector output. So if you saved it as a PDF, that's full vector. Uh, resolution independent artwork that you've created in in a web browser. Um, so you see we got multiple text boxes, we've grouped things together, we've got these uh, these little banner shapes here, we've got uh, little icons, and these are vector too by the way. Uh, Google uses WMF format which is the the clip art format for Microsoft. Um, and if you're curious about that, leave a comment, and uh, maybe we'll make a video showing you how you can create your uh, illustrations in, in a different program or something. If you want to have uh, vectors in, you know, custom-made vectors in your uh, in your Google Docs or Google Drawings, uh, it's a really easy thing to do. There's some free software again online that will convert your like SVGs or uh, EPS vector graphics to uh, WMF format. So you see, this is this is just like um, just like you saw in the if you watched the vlog, we showed you the the actual physical piece, which is really really nice. It's a it's a eight and a half by three and a half, I think. And to set up your document from the beginning, go over to your file and page setup. Now normally this would be on like widescreen or standard um, screen um, screen size, but if you go to custom, you can input your own custom dimensions here. And so what we've done is we've put in um, enough to also give us some bleed for our document. Now what we did is we chose our printer first. We got these printed at, um, at Got Print. I'll just <laughs> let you know all the secrets. Got these printed at Got Print so we, we got the dimensions uh, and the requirements for, 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 for their print um, equipment and they, they want a quarter inch bleed. So we set these up and be, this is actually be like um, uh, more than that because there's trim and bleed. So we've given some safe margin uh, and then made sure that our, our uh, document goes all the way to the edges, past the edges where it's gonna be cut. So those are some things that you need to figure out. Again, if uh, you don't know what I'm talking about, um, we'll, we'll do some more videos on um, professional print design, but uh, let's just cover Google Drawings for now. So we've set up our document with custom dimensions, with knowing this that bit of information about our printer beforehand, and that's what we've used to design this whole thing. And as you can see, um, if you go to, you got a like a little zoom tool here. You can just use that, drag and and zoom in. Uh, we've made sure that we've got, you know, a, a nice margin around all of our content here. So, you know, we don't have any text that, that you know, goes and touches the edge. We've made sure we give ourselves, you know, a good you know, quarter inch, really, around uh, any important content here. And then this is a, a perforated tear-off here at the bottom. So we've just put in, like, a little dashed outline around this box down here. And there's some really like little subtle things in here. We've we've just used the ellipse tool to create some little snowflakes, group them all together, so we can just move those all around. Um, again, just small you know little primitive uh, shapes here from the, uh, the shapes menu. If you just use the triangle, these are all text boxes. And um, on all of these fonts, by the way, if I click something here uh, under fonts. You've got plenty of fonts. This this pulls from the Google Web Fonts library, 
and if I go to more fonts, you'll see that that's available. So I've got tons and tons and tons and tons of fonts. You can just sort by popularity, sort by trending. Alphabetically, you could put in a search here and find fonts. But as you can see, I get down to this list, and it will update and just give me more and more and more. And I just click on them to add to my, my fonts. And those are the ones that I can use in my, in my uh, Google Apps. So this has just been a sort of a, uh, a brief overview of Google Drawings, uh, showing you how we designed this uh, RIP flyer, with this little perforated tear-off here for this coupon down here at the bottom. And we've did it, done it completely in uh, Google Drawings. Aside from the actual, like, this logo here, we use that in a different uh, program, saved it as a SVG, and then converted it to WMF format, and then imported it in Google Drawings. And I want to show you as well, so you can do this, and we've, we've set something up with all of their different uh, logos or variations of logos as vector shapes. And I just wanted to show you why would we, we would put them in as vector shapes. One, for resolution independency. Uh, we don't want stuff pixelating if we blow it up really big. But also, because these are actual shapes, if I click on this, I could say, you know what, I really want uh, a red bird. Now I've got a red bird. So these work just like the the primitive shapes um, in the in the way that you can give them an outline, change the colors of them, uh, and just move them around with uh, no white backgrounds. These are not JPEGs, so you don't have the white background around it, and you can you know overlap them on top of things, all sorts of stuff. So Google's got some really powerful features in their apps totally free. You can use it in any web browser, which means this is completely multi-platform. Uh, drawings, as of yet, does not have an iOS app that I'm aware of. They do have apps for slides and for um, Google Docs, where you can even go in and edit some of the text and some of the things um, on, an, on a mobile device. Um, but uh, even just having that ability, you know, that to, to, to go in here and you can create something like this. And, uh, and we're, again, extremely happy with the results. We got these in a big box, and I got 250 of them. And so uh, it was sort of experimental, but uh, we really, we really uh, are proud of, of what we've made here. Completely, again, in a free application, a web application at that. And... Uh, and we really think that this is professional quality created with Google. Thanks, guys, for watching. I uh, hope this is a helpful resource for you. If you're, uh, if you're, if you're making anything with uh, any of Google apps, let us know in the comments. We'll see you guys in the next video.